Hi everyone, this is Yana and I'm back with another video. This time I'm sharing a card created using Simon Says Stamp August 2015 card kit. I'm going to be making a bright summary card using goodies from my kit. If you're not a Simon Says Stamp card kit subscriber, I highly encourage you to check out their card kit subscription program. Their kits are always jam-packed with awesome goodies and they've now started including little dies in their kits too, so you get a whole lot of awesome products for the price of the kit. And if you subscribe to the kit, you also get a subscriber discount. Sweet! Now for my card today, I'm going to use the stamp set that came in my kit, and by the way, you can purchase this stamp set separately if you're not into the whole card kit thing. So I'm going to be using this banner border stamp to create a background for my card. As for the colors, I've picked a few of my favorite colors from Simon. I have Rosy Cheeks, Pale Blush Pink, Hollyhock, Duckling, and Sunshine, and I will be using those mainly for my background. I'm going to be using an ivory cardstock from Simon Says Stamp for my card base, and I've already trimmed this and scored it to create an A2 top holding card base, and I'm going to be stamping my background directly on the front of this card. Now, the beauty of this border stamp is that you can kind of bend it any way you like so that you can stamp it straight or you can curl it like I'm doing here. So I'm going to work from light ink to, from light color of ink to dark and I'm starting with my duckling color, a very pretty light yellow, and I'm stamping the first row of banners onto my card base. Next, using sunshine ink and adding a second row, stamping it slightly at a different angle. Next, I'm going to reposition the stamp to have a different curve so that it would appear that I'm using a different image when in fact I'm using the exact same one. I'm going to ink it up using rosy cheeks color and again stamp it onto my card base. Then adding pale blush pink color and overlapping the previously stamped row a little bit for a more, uh, for a more busy background. Then once again changing the curve of my image and using the darkest color of ink that I have here, a hollyhock, it's a very pretty pink, and stamping it twice overlapping the previous images. Again I'm changing the angle every time I'm stamping my images for a more dynamic look. So after I've used all of the colors and had them stamped just once, I figured I need to go back and use these colors again to stamp some more flags onto my background. After my background was done, I grabbed the Simon Says Stamp stitched a circles die and used a 2.5 inches circle to die cut a little uh, circle element for my project. I also wanted to die cut the sunshine word using a die included in my kit. I knew I wanted to have a cut out of yellow cardstock, but I just didn't have the right shade of yellow on hand. So I used yellow Copic marker and simply colored my cardstock that way. I don't usually do this, but since this was such a small piece of paper that needed coloring, I went ahead and colored it. I also added a layer of thinner craft foam. Well, actually it's not craft foam, it's more of a double-sided adhesive foam tape, and I added it so that I could cut both the paper and the tape at the same time so that I would have a dimensional and sticky die cut. Now if you have trouble cutting both at once, you can just cut them one by one. You know, cut your paper and then cut your craft, craft foam and stick the two together. Next I used the sunshine ink and the large outline hello sentiment from the stamp set in my kit and stamped it towards the top of my die cut circle. Next I added the die cut sunshine word and since I used adhesive foam tape I already had the back side of this die cut sticky so that I didn't have to use glue to adhere it down. I really don't like using glue for this, it just ends up being too messy for me, I don't know why. Now the next step was to stamp the aka flip-flop season sentiment, once again using that sunshine ink. I cut the sentiment out but I omitted the aka part so I only have the flip-flop season on there. The aka flip-flop season was a little bit too long for my card, for my card design, so that's why I uh, skipped the aka part. And I also stamped flip-flop images using Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto this cardstock. I'll be coloring these using my Copic markers, so this is why I used a Copic friendly ink here. So I did some very basic coloring here, no shading at all, I just wanted my flip-flops to have a yellow base and brown straps. And now I'm using the Jelly Roll pen from my kit to add glitter to the sole of the flip-flops. Now this one is kind of a uh, silvery and it reminds me a little bit of the Wink of Stella glitter brush, glitter brush, but it has ton more glitter on it, super super fun. So next I cut the flip-flops out using my scissors and now I'm adding foam squares and by the way these actually also came in my kit. Uh, so I'm adding foam squares to the back of the die cut circle and adhering onto my card base. Next I'm going to add my flip-flops on top and then adhere the little flip-flop season sentiment down at the bottom there. I'm also going to use a few of the puffy stickers from my kit. I love this little sunshine image with a cute little face. 
And I'm adding this sticker using a foam square as I want it to be popped up a little bit. I'll be adding a few clouds here and there behind the sunshine, so I need to have some room there for those. And also dressing up my flip flops using the little confetti stars from the kit. And this is it! My Hello Sunshine card using Simon Says Stamp August 2015 card kit is finished! I hope you like it! The information about the Simon Says Stamp card kit and the card kit subscription can be found below or on my blog. If you'd like to see more videos using products from Simon Says Stamp, be sure to check out the link you see on the screen. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe! I have new card making videos coming out every week! Thanks for watching! Bye!